Okay, development environment setup. Now all the examples in my design patterns in TypeScript course will be using the Node.js runtime. Okay, so the code will be written TypeScript and then converted into JavaScript that the Node.js runtime will further interpret and execute. So to get started, we should install Node.js. So we can get that from here, nodejs.org download. Okay, so I'm on the Node.js website here and I'm using Windows 10 64-bit, so I'm going to install that. If your browser gives you a warning like that, that it's unsafe, you can copy the download link and then just paste it into the address bar like that and download it. I'm using the Edge browser, so it does that. So once it's done, open the file and we can install Node.js. I'm just selecting all defaults. Install. Okay, finish. Now after it was installed, we need to check that it was successful. So depending on your operating system, whether it's Windows, Linux, Mac OS X, let's open a terminal or bash command or PowerShell prompt. I'm on Windows. First thing I'm going to do is open a command prompt and type node-v just to be sure that it was installed. And it says version 14.17.0. Perfect. Okay, so all the code written in this design patterns course will work for Node.js version 10 and above. Okay, another program that we will also need is NPM. Now, NPM will come with Node by default. So we should check also that that was installed and set up correctly. So NPM hyphen V 6.14.13. Excellent. These things are updated regularly, but Node version 10 should have given us those things as well. Okay, so now let's install the TypeScript compiler globally on our system. So npm install g for global TypeScript. So we're using npm for that. Okay, npm install g TypeScript. Excellent. Now to verify TypeScript was installed properly, tsc, that's the TypeScript compiler, hyphen v. 4.2.4, excellent. Now if you were using PowerShell, to run those commands and type tsc hyphen v. You might get this error that running scripts is disabled on this system. This is an execution policy which is enforced by default when using PowerShell. You can bypass that using several methods. Probably the most easiest is just to write tsc.command with the dot cmd there, hyphen v. There we go, tsc command hyphen v, like that. And now it works. So if you're using PowerShell and you're getting the execution policy error, just use tsc.command instead of just tsc, like so. Excellent. Okay, so the next thing which is very useful is to install an IDE. That's an integrated development environment. So I'm going to use VS Code because it's free and it has lots of great features. Okay, so download it from code.visualstudio.com. Okay, I'm just going to use the default download for Windows, a stable build. Once again, if your browser blocks the download, copy the download link and paste it in. Okay, open the file. Okay, accept the agreement. Next. Okay, once again, I've just accepted all defaults. I didn't change anything. Okay, I'm not gonna open it just yet. Finish. Okay, to open VS Code manually, you can type VS Code into your search bar, Visual Studio Code. I like to add mine to my taskbar as well. Okay, so there's Visual Studio Code opened. You can close the welcome page if you don't want it. Okay, so another way of opening Visual Studio Code is via the command prompt or PowerShell. So open a new command prompt, cmd. It's where you can just type code, space, dot, and it'll open up Visual Studio Code where the base folder is the same folder where you've opened it up. Now for me was C uses everybody. So in Visual Studio Code, that's the everybody folder there. Now when you're in Visual Studio Code, you can have an integrated terminal. So down here, you've got this command here, control plus single quote, control plus single quote, will open the integrated terminal. Now that will be PowerShell by default. If you have other terminals in your system, you can open, say, Windows Command Prompt or Git Bash. You may have that anyway. Also running TSC within the integrated PowerShell like that. TSC hyphen V 
can also give you the execution policy error. So once again, tsc.cmd hyphen V and it works. I'll be using PowerShell mostly throughout the remainder of the course, but Windows command prompt is also good and you don't have to do that, tsc hyphen V. And if you have git bash, it also works tsc hyphen V. Very good. Okay, excellent. Next video.